I like pretending to be other people. Uh, I don't know if you guys like doing that, but I do. Uh, because it's a way for me to get out of being this dorky person. Uh, I just, I have to get out. Because uh, I'm, not, I'm not always comfortable with myself. I wish I was. Uh, my gay friend Jamie, he is so comfortable with himself. Like, there's a reason why gay also means happy. Because uh, he's so happy with himself. Uh, we used to work at a comedy club together, and there'd be some awful nights when no one would show up to the show, and we'd have to work the room still, and I'd just be in a bad mood, and he would walk in, and be like, oh, I hate tonight. And he'd be like, ooh, boo, I'm about to clock in, because I'm going to be working tonight. Work, bitch. I was like, this is your every day? How are you always like this? It's like, you could too, Stubu. He's petting a weave that's not there. <laughs> Jamie, there's no weave. <laughs> oh man, I, uh, Jamie's great. I, uh, I wish I was that happy. Uh, he doesn't work at the comedy club anymore. He works at a call center. <laughs> and I'm like, who, whose calls is Jamie fielding? <laughs> who is talking to him on the phone? I want him to be on the suicide hotline. I really do. <laughs> He's like, ooh, boo, don't jump off that bridge. You got prospects, honey. He's <laughs> like, how many lives could he have saved <laughs> if he was on that phone? You guys stop laughing quick. I, I really do. You're just, you're just like, I'm done. What's next? <laughs> Uh, but I like that. I like that. I'm, uh, what can I tell you about me? I'm, uh, I'm 26 now. I'm, uh, I'm trying to be a real person. I'm, uh, I'm trying to be, uh, <laughs> trying to be a better person, trying to be a healthier person. Uh, I just rejoined a gym. Uh, I have a very love-hate relationship with gyms. Uh, cause gyms are only good with you on the first day. After that, you could be dead. They got your money. They don't care about you. Uh, but like my, my friend hooked me up with this membership and he was uh, he was trying to get me involved with him and like, trying to get, get me on his workout plan. He was asking me about my fitness goals and I don't want to tell my friend my fitness goals because those are secrets. Those are just for me. I can lie to him, I can give him made up goals. I can tell him, hey, I want to bench 250, run a six minute mile, but I also know that's never going to happen for me. Like I just know my body can't do that anymore. Like all I'm going to be able to do is if I'm having sex with a woman and I am on top of her. I just want to have the physical strength to be able to hold up my own body weight. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want. What workout do I need to do to just hold up me? You know that trembling uncontrollably? Notice how it's all ladies laughing at this. Like you've all been with that guy. And listen, on behalf of men, I want to apologize to any woman in here who's had to be with that guy who has such poor arm foundation. Because that's a real thing for me. Because that position I'm in, not quite a push-up, not quite a plank. Somewhere in between. Like I need to figure out how to just strengthen this tendon, like right here. I can't, I can't go to my friend or a trainer and be like, hey, bro, do you have an elbow workout I can do? I'm trying to be a better lover. <laughs> I have a girlfriend now, so I have to figure that out, uh, how to have sex with her appropriately. Uh, I like my girlfriend. Uh, I, uh, I, I was single for a long time, though, and I want you guys to know, since you're here, uh, I, I know there's some people coupled up, but if there's anyone single here, just know it's going to be okay. You just got to push through. Gotta see through to the other side. You're gonna find that dating site that works for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that seems to be the only way you can find women these days. Like, you can't really capture them in the wild like you used to. <laughs> I found my girl in the wild miraculously, but I, I, I've done the dating site thing before, and like I said, I'm kind of a shy, dorky dude off stage, so usually when I do those dating sites, I start small, like with the religious dating site. <laughs> you guys don't do that? <laughs> But like, you know, some, some, like any site, some of them work, some of them don't. Uh, I didn't have a lot of luck with sites like, you know, Christian Mingle or JDate, uh, but I did have some luck with this pretty new site. It's called Jihad Me at Hello. <laughs> so you guys were a punch crowd the whole time, okay. Uh, I like having sex with my girlfriend, and I, uh, the problem is I, I, I want to be, be a more confident person, uh, especially in the bedroom. I, I want to you know, show her a good time. And so, but the only way for me to do that is to be another person. 
And so the only like really confident personality I can really bring out is Gilbert Gottfried. Because <laughs> then I can be in the bedroom and be like, all right, my pants are down and I'm ready to be inside of you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Have you stretched? I think it's important to stretch before you engage in coitus. All right, now let me just inch closer to you like a villain in a Scooby-Doo movie. How do you want me to get on top of you? Do you want me to perch on you like a bird? I'm gonna get down, I'm a little uncomfortable right now. All right, now here comes the airplane, here comes the airplane, and the Malaysian Airlines missing inside of you. 